Okay, I gave the verdict to legs and we are continuing. I don't think there's really anything else. We if we, we literally got everything here, so there's no point. <laughs> we got everything here. Everything's good. So, missions pretty much. And we're doing this all over again. But we do actually uh, hopefully have different options. Because apparently it's when all the new missions are meant to kick in. The third playthrough. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Not gonna lie, this is a different playthrough. This we're not using Black Nightmare. We're using or Black Flame, or even the Flame version of it, or the Flame Armament Armaments for Black Nightmare. We're just using Verdict now, where we either have old Verdict with the multiple legs, or we just have plain old Verdict. System activating combat mode. Commence mission. I'm under my frame for a second there. Con Liberation Front's artillery placements. That's the thing about Verdict is he can go high. Oh no, we're staggered. That's also the downside of Verdict, doesn't have much health. All good stagger with this. He's like got skinny legs on this. It's not big fat legs. So verdict at least looks somewhat normal. It's also uh, I I forgot what I was saying again. I actually forgot what I was saying again. My brain just went beep. Anyway, let's see if there's a new mission. Oh no, I forget it's clean up. So we need to, these two missions are always the same, and then it changes after. This comes to Schneider from the Archivist group. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention, 
defense mission. Wipe out the Dafag MT squad. Verdict pretty speedy, I gotta say. I need to find a better wrist weapon though. No new messages. I don't mean it's kind of interesting to change weapon types, but it doesn't really change the core gameplay. It still does blast lots of damage. It's just you. It's just different kind of blast and lots of damage. Because that's the thing. It, the you the weapons you think are good are actually not that good. Like double minigun, great as long as you know how to like not immediately burn out their charge. But shockingly enough, you get weapons like this, and suddenly it's like, oh, actually, never mind. And you get really shocked by what's actually really effective. Especially as you get down deeper into the game. Because in the beginning when you have the wrong weapons to go with and you don't have the stun stuff and you don't have the OS fully unlocked. Like it might feel like something's weaker. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm imagining adding another wrist mount, like a different weapon in my right, might be a good idea. Because while the whip's an interesting weapon, it's just... It's just not really good in general. Like, it's good when your enemy gets close. But beyond that, it's not really that good. It's circumstantial at best. So let's go in here and see what I can replace this with. Maybe there's something I can even buy. What is this thing? I guess I could go double laser cannon, but that would be kind of basic, you know? No, I might mix it up like too late. Oh, now that, that looks nasty. Oh, it's still called Black Nightmare for some reason. I guess this is secretly Black Nightmare then, because apparently he didn't change the name to Verdict, so apparently this is secretly Black Nightmare. Shrugs, <laughs> isn't it? The shrug. Main system, activating combat mode. And deleted. Oh, that was the quickest death ever. <laughs> the yeetest deleter. Not like three different charged cannons. That's absurd. I'm not sure what's going on in that chat, but people are being weird. Our escort. I believe this is the first alternative mission. Escort the mining ships. Got a job for you, 621. We've received a request from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Raven, here's an operation that may be of interest to you. We want you to escort the Strider, a weaponized mining ship. There's no end to the corpse invasion. They've reached the Bonadea dunes in Western Bellius now. Before the invasion, the Strider was our mobile base for extracting and distributing coral. We paid the dozers a 
fortune to outfit it for combat. It's too precious an asset to lose. Hopefully we can count on your assistance. Looks like we've got conflicting requests about the same ship. You'll be doing the work. You choose. Well, of course we're going to help him out. Like, we've done... It's literally, I'm pretty sure, required for the ending is to escort. Chose the Liberation Front, did you? Whatever works to get your name out there. That's the benefit of being independent. Yeah, I'm not really allied to anyone. Like, apparently this is still Black Knight there, just in a different body, so... <coughs> like, in all honesty, how do we even explain these, like, alterations to the timeline? Like, with these new missions being added? Because I'm sorry, there must be some time travel magic, alternate reality distortion type thing going on. Oh, of course they move so fast that you can't hit them. Okay, I might have to change verdict to pretty much just be Black Nightmare at this point because... Jeez. This entire build is useless against these enemies apparently because it just doesn't hit them. Like... What is this cancer? No repair kits remaining. So of course there's no repair kits remaining when these enemies just move around the entire screen at unreactable speeds of like gigatons of health. And it's literally impossible to bloody hit him! Uh-huh. Finally, got one down. And now we've got like two more to go, so this is completely worth it. Because we can't even hit him, that's the annoying thing, it's like they're impossible to hit. Oh, that's the issue, they're just impossible to hit. They just move too fast to hit. It's ridiculous. You know what? I guess it's time for the strongest melee. Because Power Bunk is pretty much all we can do here. Well, in terms of raw damage, it's the strongest melee. There is the chainsaw, obviously, if you get a full charge attack, but we're not getting that here. I know, I'm not going to be able to get close because we're getting close you. Close you. Melee. We're just going to make that completely useless in any way, shape or form by giving them the speed of absolute destruction. Oh, I should have gone back forward and I want to see all, like, anything but this.
obnoxious enemy running away the entire bloody game. They have to make this mission super obnoxious. It's like it does zero damage. Okay, I want to do verdict for this playthrough, but clearly this game decided nope, we're not having fun, happy mission, we're having cheesy, annoying missions. Where nothing will hit because they just move or because we just have fast moving enemies that never get hit by anything. And I'll super obnoxious. Okay, yeah, this verdict playthrough is now officially over because apparently this game just wants to give you the middle finger. So, we're going shotguns. Uh, it looks like we can't escape the Black Nightmare playthrough apparently because this does my best meal. My verdict's okay when you got like a one on one, but when the enemy moves that fast, it pretty much nullifies his entire build. Which is annoying because all the AI are just super fast moving with ridiculous accuracy. What? What is the, the on only downside of this build is pretty much it's got no thrust on it. Yep, here we go. I'm original Stunlock spam enemy that run away the entire game and I'm really boring of fight because, oh yes, great enemy design. Let's have an enemy that just runs away the entire game and dodges because they input read. Because that's literally FromSoft's model for difficulty nowadays. Instead of actually making something challenging, we're going to make it so they read your input. FromSoft. Input read is good idea. The only good thing is I got Will's net. Which means they get vaporized in like one combo. That's if the game lets you hit them. Where, where is it? Way too many for a chance encounter. Okay, I need to wait for my things to reload so I can just get the one shot whammy. Coming in hot. These are dangerous, 621. Knock them down and go in for the kill. Okay, there we go, the one shot whammy. Now let's, let's reload it. Okay, that's what we need to do. We need to do the one shot whammy. Yeah. 
Oh yes, that's totally what I was aiming for, Gabe. And I'm about to die because this game decides to not have any checkpoints. And now it's just never going to be possible to hit because this game decides to have them run away every time they do a sweep in. And these enemies have super tank shields and it's just... This is boring! It's like, this is the kind of stuff I hate in video games. Oh, we, we want a super difficult run, but we don't know how to make it actually hard. I know, let's just make it be an enemy spam with really broken weapon combos and have them run away the entire game. Yes, that will be a very fun thing. That will be a great experience. That won't just make the player mad and annoyed because they know they're being cheeseballed by bad game design. Not at all. Like, if it was like the end game stuff where it's like very damaging enemies, but you're also damaging them, I wouldn't care. But no, it's literally fast movement, overpowered broken weapons, a combo you can't actually do. Because it doesn't mix well. There's always like a down, like, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to be able to move that far. But of course this game's just like, eh, who, who cares? Who cares about battling? Why would we want battling? Oh, it's a boring, annoying build. Okay, time to do this. Time to go to technically the strongest build in the game. Oh yes, I totally didn't hit it, game. And now it's just gonna run away the entire game. Oh yes, I'm totally not hitting it, game. I'm literally in its face. Zero damage. Like, okay, game. Great game design. I had to pull out my strongest build for this, pretty much. I know, and now I'm going to get Stunlock Keys to death. Because great design. Let me heal! Let me heal! Oh, I'm about to get cheese all day, I? Please! Oh, this is obnoxious! Oh, did I get them both at once? No. Ah. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there's endless wave, endless wave, and when you hit them, they just phase through the flames because, yeah, 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 because technically you're an inch out of range, but if they're an inch of range, they'll still hit you, even if they miss by a mile, they'll still hit you because that's how this game works. I will mock this game when it does stuff like this. Oh, how do we make our game difficult? Oh, let's make it artificially difficult. They won't care. Yes, we will. I'm not the kind of player who will lick this game's boots. I like this game, but there's a reason why I won't rate it over a 7. And, it, and with this kind of stuff, it becomes very hard to rate it even that. Because it's just the most obnoxious game design. It's not even broken or... Like, I could easily beat this. I just need to keep going at it. Like, I know this build can get through. I just need the moment where my hits actually connect like they're meant to. Instead of the game just going, Oh, well, even though you're point blank, you still miss. Like, okay, game. Okay, yeah, I'm totally not hearing him game. Yeah, okay. That's the next one. There we go.
these machines. I'll take them head on, 621. I'll tear you to shreds. message. Raven, first up, let me apologize. That request to escort the Strider turned out to be something else entirely. I hear those strange machines didn't come from the corpse. Is there some other force that wants to see the Roboconians fall? Be careful out there, Raven. There's more to this. Well, it looks like we are forced to play this build because pretty much everything else sucks. Like, pretty much double flame flows is just so strong. If you play anything else, it just feels weak in comparison. Like, probably could literally just do the same build on Verdict. But in all honesty, I can't be bothered right now. <laughs> Maybe for the next part, but for now we're just going to continue with them. You're joining an operation planned by... And yeah, we're going to stab you in the back. Because why not? Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. Target practice. When we're done, the locals will be 
Interesting. Your call, 621. Your cooperation is appreciated, Raven. 621, we've received a friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. Let's not waste their firepower. Oh yes, you totally dodged that. Yes, you dodge into an AOE attack. Still take like no damage. Look, look at that. Be the honor to I understand you know that uh, we that was The thing is, with like speed, it would. I wouldn't even find speed annoying if like the enemies didn't have like aimbot accuracy. Like that, that's always been my big issue. It's like the aimbot accuracy combined with the speed that irritates me in this game. Like they lowered the like the tracking and the accuracy of the enemy. Pretty much all my issues would probably disappear. They fixed the hitboxes that are problematic. Yeah. Solution. Never climb the wall, Corporation. Dog. Coral, a five with Rubicon. AP at thirty percent. AP at fifty percent. 
Okay, what, what's even hit me? Are you telling me enemies from like all the way across the map are hitting me somehow? Well, that's just lovely to know. Wait, isn't there like a hidden enemy here? Let's go check down here. Did putting the coral like booster like make me gain the red like effects on my boost? Because I don't remember them being red. I feel like they changed colour to red. I don't think it really matters. Like he's leaving and then he looks around like, oh, never mind. Like, this is the thing, flame build is great. I believe that is the end chapter right there. But I do feel like these new missions are going to be very annoying. I can't figure out a way to make Verdict work. We're war buddies now. Dirk Without relying on the accuracy too much as well. That's the question. How do I make it work without over lights on the accuracy? Hmm. Got a job.
job for you, 621. A request from an independent mercenary, call sign Kate. Check the briefing. Greetings, Raven. My name is Kate Markson. I have a special request to ask of you. It concerns the elimination of PCA mandatory inspection squads dispatched to Baus Arsenal Number 2. Aside from subject guard, the PCA has also sent an LC squad to put further pressure on Baus. Baus, however, intends to disrupt the inspection with a raid by independent mercenaries. I need you to lie in wait inside the arsenal and ambush the Vanguard squad. I'll disrupt their rearguard squad outside, then rendezvous with you. That concludes the briefing. Looking forward to working together. Okay, that's a completely new character right there, and I believe that is all mined. Because let's be honest, they're literally using the, the drone we always see them use. They're using the mine drone. It's like... Like Luke it is. A mandatory inspection or a job from another mercenary. Whatever happens, handle it. Just like you always do. It just clicked in my head now. All those mysterious drones. They're related to All Mind, aren't they? All Mind is going evil AI. Because I remember like reading about the older like armored core and I'm one of them making a reference to the older armor core like where there was the evil AI. Commencement. I wonder if that's the case here. Eliminate the PCA's mandatory inspection squads. I'm grateful for your support, Raven. We'll rendezvous later on. Code one five. Unknown AC. Where did it come from? Eliminate it. Subject guard sentry MTs. Watch out for their laser fire. No, I don't think I will. But this build is absolutely mental. You get in range, they're dead. Bully me. Why you bully me? Why you bully me? Keep moving, 621. Code 31C, sustaining fire from an unknown AC. Support. Don't give that AC an inch. Raven, don't underestimate those LCs. Though mass produced, there is such a component of the PCA suppression force. Push back. Got that AC down. This is a priority operation. AP at Looks like you're clear here. I was right to count on the wall climber. Keep up the good work. I looked into this Kate. She's not even registered in the arena. Be ready for company if her plan to ambush the rear guard goes south. Code 7-8, requesting backup. Taking heavy fire. This position's under attack. <laughs> Presently exchanging fire. Right on schedule. Looks like Kate's on the move. Confirmed. The inspection squad inside the arsenal has been wiped out. It looks like we beat Kate. Raven, I've finished mopping up, but I have something to report. PCA has made an unexpected move. Let's rendezvous for now. You heard the lady. Updating marker data. I think she set this up. She called them over for an inspection. And then... Well, she calls us over to ambush.
Attending scene. We've got a 3 1 C on our hands. Lost the inspection team. Merch made a big mistake. Instant authorization received. Commencing termination. PCA Special Forces. What is this? Their suppression fleet is coming to Norco. These are just the fires. 
Come on, Mavs, can I just type in something quick? Okay, prisoner rescue time. Oh my... Ooh, my joints are just popping at every turn. Okay, I wasn't planning to have the video be this short, but I'll probably end it after this, just because my joints are getting really bad, and I need to, like, proper, like, just walk about a bit, get my... Every, uh, my joints and everything just back into motion, some blood circulating. It depends. Might just be a nerve. Because I just popped and it doesn't feel as annoyed anymore. So I probably just got like a nerve trap or something dumb like that. Looks like switching sides of Galia left an impression on the Liberation Front. Guess we have you to thank for this job. Main system, activating combat mode. Transmission. Escort the Procon Liberation Front's transport helicopter. We appreciate your support, Raven. We have to rescue our captured comrades. Failure is not an option. Coral, by the front of the You'd think the flamethrower would have more range than it actually does, but the, it actually has, like, no range. They must be here for their friends. Intercept. Oh yes, I totally did not him. Okay, game. Landing at site B. Extracting combat missile. Raven, keep watching. Enemy sighted. Focus on the chopper. Shoot it down. Don't let them go. Keep their intel on the well.
Escort AC means business too. All empty personnel. Shoot that chopper down. HQ wants the Rubiconian secrets to die with them. Far better than risking a leak to Archibus. Right shoulder ammunition. Yeah, sorry about that people, some big stuff came up, and so I got distracted. I apologise. They're probably gonna die, unfortunately. This build's not really designed for this mission. Please. You want to be confirmed. That's that's a red gun AC. Give that's me a checkpoint. You're daring. I'll give you that. I've fried bigger fish than you. Yeah, that's the issue. Uh, I, I knew that was going to happen because this feels not really practical for this kind of mission. And it doesn't checkpoint, unfortunately, which is kind of stupid. So let me get back to this with like a different build and all that, you know. Okay, I've got a completely new build and I've got Verdict back on. Verdict's actually got a good design here. Two machine guns, missiles. Might need to be changed for like a boss run, but beyond that, pretty good. I had two handguns as a build, but in this kind of mission, two handguns that ain't pretty good. That's a red gun's AC. Escorting a prison break all along. You're daring, I'll give you that. But I've fried bigger fish than you. That's gun two, Nile. The red gun's deputy commander, and the brains to the shades muscle. This is absolute horse meal. Okay, I just got screw job there because the game just decided magically to have them suddenly like gain extra. Okay, I'm gonna have to go double minigun, which sucks. I hate double minigun, but it's sort of forced because I just don't have enough ammo otherwise. Which is kind of dumb. Okay, here we go. Full health this time.
Mission accomplished. Leaving the combat area. Six two one. New enemy confirmed. That's that's a red gun's AC. Escorting a prison break all alone. You're daring. I'll give you that. But I've fried bigger fish than you. Confirmed. The chopper has exited the combat zone. Mission accomplished. Raven, a symbol of resolve. But mark my words, there will be nothing left but dying embers. <clears throat> well, we managed to get that done. Thankfully, I'll probably test out the build a little more and find what's most practical, but I'm somewhat getting a good build built here. Just need to work on it a little, obviously. So probably going to do a bit of grinding in the background, upgrading stuff, but until then... Uh, I guess we're going to leave this part here, just because... Other stuff that's interfering with the recording. Nothing... Not that it was bad, it was just other stuff to do, you know? Messages. Otherwise I would probably have done like another two hours of footage and it would have been like a three hour video. I'm not even going to lie here. Unfortunately I just had stuff to do which cut out a lot of the recording time and now I'm just a bit too... <sighs> you know. Just a bit too tired. Probably just going to do some stuff. You know grind a little bit then... You know how it is, people. Hope you enjoyed anyway. Like, subscribe, share all that, and peace out. Peace.